guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be making this video for you guys. I swear I've been trying to film the same video for days now. It feels so good to finally just be sitting down and talking with you guys. As you can see by the title, I kind of just wanted to share with you guys today a little February recap. It was actually a lot busier and a lot more jam-packed than I was expecting it to be. And Februarys are usually just so short and sweet and they pass by so quickly but for some reason this year February was so busy in every aspect there is quite a bit for me to share with you today and if you guys do enjoy these type of videos kind of more compilation videos spamming across a few days a few weeks please let me know and I will make more for you guys so thank you as always so much for watching it really means so much to me and I can't believe people are still watching my videos so really thank you so much for being here and I hope you enjoy this video <laughs> So we actually started the month in a really fun way. I actually went skiing for the first time ever. The first day I went skiing, I was by myself with the instructor and I think it went really well. The day kind of started off a little weird. I actually got into a teeny tiny car accident on my way to Bielashnitsa, but a weird way to start the day because I was already nervous to start skiing and it kind of threw me off balance in the beginning but I'm hoping sometime in March I can at least spend one more weekend with the instructor just so that I can really have all the ski basics down for next season. <laughs> yeah so we kicked off February in a really fun way <laughs> which was really exciting. Uh, the weekdays all of February were just really busy. It's been so crazy at work so my work days were just really boring honestly. The second weekend of February we actually went to Belgrade. It was my sister's birthday and we decided to go on a little girls trip. My birthday present to my sister was that I was gonna pay for our accommodation while there. We only stayed one night so it wasn't really a long trip but it ended up being a lot of fun. Uh, when we got there we went to probably our favorite restaurant there. Every time we go to Belgrade we always want to go to this place. It's called Ambad and really focused on family style eating all the portions are pretty small so order a lot of a variety of different foods and to try different things we of course then just went and walked around and kind of explored the city and they were kind of mad at me that I wasn't vlogging intensely over there so they kind of took over the vlog a little bit so I'll insert those clips right now Hi. hey guys Hi, <laughs> English, please, English. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You can just so, we are not going to be able we then just spent the rest of that day, it was a Saturday, just walking around. We went to coffee, got some ice cream, and then we wanted to get back to our room as soon as possible so that we can start getting ready for our big dinner night out. And it was so fun seeing everybody really dress up. We were going to Lafayette, which is kind of like a mix of a dinner, a club, and a show. Lafayette ended up being so so much fun. It was honestly an experience I don't think any of us will ever ever <laughs> experience again. We had great food, great dessert. The whole time there was just some performers, whether it was singing, dancing, acrobatics, fire show, like this thing had it all. 
everybody was just on their feet singing along everybody was passing around sparklers and it was so much fun and I really liked how everybody was so into it all the waiters actually were a part of the show as well so I'll insert some clips of what that looked like right here <laughs> definitely recommend if you are in Belgrade and you are looking for a night out that's something unique, something different than the norm, then I would definitely recommend going to Lafayette. Yeah, we did go to a really cute breakfast place on Sunday. Yeah, after breakfast, we just kind of walked around a little bit and then started heading home. So after Belgrade, it was actually Valentine's Day and I don't really celebrate Valentine's Day, obviously. I don't think it's like a holiday but I decided to just kind of celebrate a little bit with my sister we ended up going to Mervica just to have a little bit of dessert and I actually wore these really cute tights that had hearts all over them that I found in Belgrade so celebrate in my own way <laughs> uh, the weekend after Belgrade I was actually celebrating another birthday it was my best friend Minya's 25th birthday Day. It's crazy that she's 25, which means I will soon also be turning 25, which is crazy. So we ended up just celebrating her birthday in a club that I It actually ended up being a good night and she had fun, which is the most important. That same weekend, I had some family come over to spend the weekend and my little cousin, Hana, came with them as well. And every time she comes, try to do different activities so she's not bored. She's in a state where everything is boring to her so it's become quite difficult to keep that little girl entertained we actually went to the selfie museum it was definitely the perfect place for her she loved all the different type of rooms that were decorated in different scenes there was a cloud room there was a whole ball pit room which was really cool there was a construction zone a waterfall it was actually pretty entertaining. I do not recommend it for adults. I don't think they would find it interesting, but kids I think would really enjoy it. If you need to ever entertain a 12 year old, I do recommend taking them there. The rest of February is actually not that entertaining. I did want to share with you guys Belgrade and the birthdays and all these fun things I was able to do and I do hope you guys enjoy this video. I do miss talking with you guys. I've been wanting to film this video for days now and I'm so glad I finally just sat down and talked with you guys. I do hope you like it and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!